Burke Magnus, the ESPN president of programming and original content, he went on with the Sports Business Journal uh, the other day. Wait, it, not even necessarily the Sports Business Journal. It was uh, Marshand and Orand, uh, their podcast, and really talked about just a bunch of different things. He started off by saying that the ESPN dropping out of the Big Ten rights negotiations was the right move for them. And it definitely makes sense, right? Uh, he said that, let's see, let me let me look at exactly what he said here. Uh, ABC had carried Big Ten games as far back as 1966. ESPN has done the same beginning in 1979. ESPN was reportedly offered a package that would have seen them paying $380 million per year, but that only covered primetime football games and only would have been for about 13 games a year, which is less than half of their current 27-game package, which they were paying around $190 million a year for. Uh, they turned that down, and ESPN president, uh, Burke Magnus, spoke to John Orand of the Sports Business Journal uh, about that this week on Marshand and Orand. Uh, this is, he said, we needed to get at the price that we needed to get it at, and neither of those things were available to us. It makes perfect sense to me. I mean, it, it, if you were paying $190 million dollars, or twice as much as something, even though the supply has gone down, is it is it a good deal to go and make that deal? I don't think so. I, I think I think Magnus made the right call here. Um, this is a really good interview. You should you should really go listen to uh, the full interview. I am. What we I'm going to play this to get at the price that we needed to get it at. Neither of those things were available to us, and so. You know, as difficult as it was to go separate directions, um, you know, it was the right decision for our company. There's no doubt about that. We're going to continue to be heavily invested in college sports. Nothing is forever in the rights buying business. So you got to be somewhat dispassionate about and stick to your process, if you will. Um, but it was hard. It was a hard decision. Uh, but I think it was the right decision for us. Most now, he does bring up something very interesting. And that's going to take us to our next point here. ESPN uh, believes that they will still dominate college football coverage even without the Big Ten. It says the network expects to have 64% of 18 to 49 viewership. That's 18 to 49 years of age, uh, the demographic there, uh, in 2024 with its new SEC package. ESPN will also go after the Big 12, Pac-12, and the college football playoff renewal, a source told Front Office Sports. Now, the article here, it's very short, uh, but it says ESPN could still dominate a large share despite losing the Big Ten, and it, it projects that it will garner 63% of all college football viewership minutes for people between the ages of 18 and 49. Now, that's only a 1% drop-off from the 2021-2022 numbers. Now, ESPN not having the Big Ten is a big deal, but they are going to go after the Big 12 and the Pac-12 big time. They they could even overpay for those leagues, and and it'd still be worth it to be able to combat what Fox, CBS, and NBC have with the Big 10. Now, the Big 10 may end up becoming a bigger overall brand, but when it comes down to it, I mean, you this is exactly what they need to have happen. Uh, Burke Magnus also talked about the uh, Pac-12 contract. Um Basically, he said that the Pac-12 contract, if they get a deal done with them between ESPN and the Pac-12, it will include room for expansion candidates. Now, he said, we don't even need to know who those candidates will be. There will be an escalator clause in there, and and the deal will go up a little bit if they bring in somebody that is, you know, that's worthwhile. And basically, that points us right back to the Mountain West Conference, which, I mean... San Diego State is the most likely. They don't have to bring in two more, but they could. If they just bring in San Diego State, that's one thing. But you could go in and bring in Boise State as well. Or, uh, I mean, we'll talk about a couple of other things with Bob Thompson and John Canzano here in just a little while. But there's a lot of options. I mean, you could get Fresno State in there. You could get UNLV, etc. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.